In the Valley of Peace, Poe is running late for his father's opening of the new restaurant, busy carrying out his duties as the Dragon Warrior. When he finally arrived at the valley, his fans quickly greeted him. Master Shifu also welcomes him home and insists that they talk, but he dismisses him to focus on the restaurant's opening. Poe claims they are on top secret kung fu missions when asked where the Furious Five are. Tigris is out fighting the chicken gang. Monkey is looking into the missing Makaki. Crane has been crowned the king of the crocodilians. Viper is organizing peace talks between the cobras and the mongooses while Mantis is busy trying to please his blushing bride. Later, Shifu talks to Poe about finding a successor to become the next dragon warrior while he ascends to becoming the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. He explains how he will have to oversee the valley, pass along wisdom, and inspire hope in the people. Much like how Master Ugwe used to be before he passed away, Poe refuses, but Shifu insists, claiming that Ugwe entrusted him with the Staff of Wisdom so Poe could follow in his footsteps. The next day, the valley is busy with the selection process as aspiring candidates show up and demonstrate their skills before an audience. Poe hesitates when he is about to decide and declares himself to be the Dragon Warrior still. Shifu insists that he must choose a successor and takes him to the cliff where a cherry blossom tree grows. During meditation, he sees a breeze blowing with cherry blossoms in its trail when he suddenly witnesses the fox bandit Jen sneak into the Jade Palace. After a long cat and mouse chase, Poe outsmarts and catches Jen, whom he then sends to prison. Suddenly, mine workers show up and tell Poe that his old rival Tai Lung has returned, much to his shock as he believed him to still be in the spirit realm. After stealing the iron and destroying the quarry, Tai Lung claims he will not stop until the dragon warrior bows before him. He immediately went to the quarry to investigate, but only found unusual footprints that turned smaller with each step. He is reminded of Zhen's last words and visits her in prison, suspecting she knows something about Tai Lung's sudden reappearance. Zhen tells him that it was the work of the Empress of Disguise, the chameleon who can take any form or shape. Wondering about her motives, Zhen recommends asking her in person. Poe then asks her to guide him to Chameleon in exchange for having her sentence reduced. Shifu shows up and criticizes Poe for making a deal with a criminal and explains that this is a job for the Furious Five. Poe claims that without them there, this is a job for the Dragon Warrior, much to Shifu's disappointment. Poe and Zhen embark on their adventure to find the Chameleon. While on the road, Zhen wonders if the Staff of Wisdom could open a door to the spirit realm. Poe explains how it needs to be given to gain its power. Back at the Valley of Peace, word quickly got out about the shape-shifting sorceress, and rumors quickly spread. Mr. Ping worries about Poe's decision to follow a thief, but Li Shan tries to calm him down, reassuring him that Poe can handle himself having faced demons, demigods, and everything else. Despite that, they both sneak out at night, worried for Poe, so they agree to follow him to the city. Meanwhile, the heads of Juniper City's most prominent families meet under the invitation of the Chameleon. They discuss their frustration of being forced to pay half of their earnings as tribute. When the bear tries to convince the others to a coup, the chameleon shows up and reveals how powerless they are against her. She demands more from them, but Bear wonders what else they could offer when she already has Juniper City. She tries to be cryptic in telling them that she is close to having something she wants and expects it to be hers before the Blood Moon, which is only a few days away. With that said, she tells them she will raise their so-called tribute to 60%, which Bear refuses. Hearing him object, Chameleon turned into a scary elephant and pushed him down the stairs while the others ran in fear. Nearing their destination, Poe and Jen find a shifty tavern on top of a cliff filled with unsavory characters who bully the waiters and waitresses. Poe managed to secure a ride to the city when Jen got caught cheating. Their leader gets furious and demands retribution. Poe tried to talk his way out of it, but a bar fight ensued when they refused. Poe and Zhen skillfully defeated them, but their roughhousing almost made the tavern fall off the cliff. The fighting stops when Poe gets thrown out of the tavern, barely holding on to Zhen. 
They both fall and land on the ship, and the captain quickly sails away. Seeing Juniper City, Zhen starts feeling nostalgic. When asked about her family, she claims she never had one and was forced to do anything to survive. When they finally arrived, Poe was thrilled with the many cuisines the city had to offer, but was shocked to discover that Jen was a wanted criminal. They quickly ran into some buffalo cops and took her in. Poe tried to talk on her behalf, but they took him in too, having not heard of the Dragon Warrior or the Kung Fu Panda. Jen unlocks the transport cell, and they escape into the city. When they thought they had escaped them, more buffalo cops showed up and ferociously chased them across the city. Eventually, they got cornered, to which Zhen then revealed a trapdoor, and they escaped into the sewers. Arriving at the Den of Thieves, Zhen and Po are greeted with hostility from the leader, Han, who appears to be closely acquainted with Zhen. She tried to scare them off with Poe's reputation but failed, having never heard of him. Poe's inner voice suggested he try to talk things out first when they were about to fight them off. Surprisingly, it worked, but Poe worries that they misinterpreted his meaning. As soon as the cops cleared out, Jen guided Poe to the castle on the cliff. They sneaked inside the castle grounds where the Komodo guards were fast asleep but quickly gave themselves away and had to run for the entrance. They skillfully get past the traps, but Poe stumbles and finds himself trapped in an iron cage. Worried that more guards would show up, Poe asks Zhen to use the staff as a brace while he holds it up. Holding onto the staff, Zhen slowly backs away when Chameleon shows up. Zhen then gives her the staff, revealing Chameleon to be the one who took her in as a kid in Zhen's story. Chameleon recalls the first time she met Zhen, New to the city, a young Jen fearlessly tries to steal from Chameleon's throne but gets caught. She quickly realized her potential and has since then been working for her. Poe questions her motives, explaining how she has always wanted to become a Kung Fu master. She tried to learn Kung Fu, but every training hall she went to turned her away, claiming she wasn't fit for it. Desperate, she turned to sorcery, to which she became exceptionally skilled at shapeshifting. She explained that although she could shapeshift into any kung fu master, she could not fight like them. With that said, she reveals how she will use the Staff of Wisdom to open the spirit realm and steal the kung fu of every master villain that was ever born. Furious, Poe tries to break the cage, but Chameleon explains how the bars are reinforced with powerful old magic. When escaping is not an option, he decides to break through the floor, where he drops in on hundreds of Chameleon's guards. He gets outside when Jen shows up with the staff, but Poe brushes her off and claims they need to escape. The real Jen calls out to him, revealing the other to be Chameleon, and she then kicks him off the cliff. Poe survives the fall, clinging to a branch on the cliffside, where his father shows up to rescue him. Once they are out of danger, Poe contemplates his actions and regrets forever leaving the valley. He explains how he was so determined to keep things as they were that it led him to make the biggest mistake. His fathers try to comfort him and convince him that change is good when they suddenly see and hear Chameleon men carrying the cages into the palace. Chameleon plans on opening the spirit realm on the Blood Moon, but when she grows impatient, she quickly opens the portal and summons Tai Lung. She demanded that he teach her kung fu, but she stole it right before his eyes when he refused. She then throws him into a cage and carries on with the summoning of the others, much to Jen's regret. When she is about to leave for good, she finds Poe is still alive and apologizes for betraying him. Jen then tries to stop him when he insists on fighting Chameleon, worried for his life. Worried that they wouldn't stand a chance against an army, Zhen decides to find their army to fight against theirs. Zhen, Mr. Ping, and Li Shan return to the den to convince the others to join the fight against Chameleon. When she explains how it's the right thing to do, they initially laugh at her, but she eventually convinces them who misinterpreted what she meant. She then rallies the thieves into fighting for the right thing for the wrong reasons. When more guards are on patrol, Li Shan claims they will handle the guards while she focuses on getting to Po. Li Shan tries to bluff the guards into surrendering, but it backfires, and they chase after him. 
He lures them to where the thieves lie in wait and defeats them all with their numbers. Inside the castle, Poe finds Chameleon continuously summoning Kung Fu masters from the spirit realm to steal their Kung Fu. Poe confronts Chameleon, to which she returns the staff, having completed what she needed to obtain. They quickly face off, but Poe struggles with the fight. With Chameleon effortlessly shapeshifting into different masters and using their ultimate attacks on him, Zhen joins the battle, and together they fight against Chameleon, who then uses her shape-shifting powers to transform into a giant six-legged flying chimera, combining different body parts of the masters that they are known for. Poe jumps at the giant creature when Zen gets caught and forces it to crash against the wall. When that didn't work, Chameleon turned into Poe, and the two fought it out. Chameleon then uses Fire Crocodile's technique and traps Poe in a makeshift cage. Zhen tries to get him out, but when she can't, he tells her to fulfill her destiny and defeat Chameleon herself while he hands her the staff. Confident that she knows all her moves, Chameleon confronts Zhen, who surprisingly defeats her with Poe's mystical technique. Poe commends her, who reveals that he was only pretending to be trapped. Chameleon quickly pounces on them while they are busy talking, but Poe sees through it and defeats her with the staff, returning the stolen kung fu to its rightful owners. With the Chameleon defeated, an angry mob of master villains surround him, who later reveal that he has gained their respect as they bow before him. With everything sorted out, Poe then uses the staff one last time to open the portal to the spirit realm, to which they all return, including Chameleon, whom Tai Lung takes with him. Poe and Zhen return to the Valley of Peace, to which, despite her willingness to continue her sentence, Poe claims that he has chosen Zhen to be his successor, much to Shifu displeasure. Confident in his choice, he asks the Furious Five to help train Zhen to become the next Dragon Warrior. Thank you for sticking to the end. Leave a comment about what you thought, and please check out these other videos, and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.